Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Frostpunk The Fall of Winter Home. Well, we are in the very end of things. We have uh, had one more malfunction, which we did manage to fix, though we hear that the next one there is no coming back from. It will be the destruction of what remains. Now, luckily for us, we've done pretty good on our evacuation so far. We're almost uh, just over halfway for actually a bit over halfway for this final deck we definitely can't do the fifth deck that's just not going to happen so whatever whatever we send uh yeah basically we're going to be sending enough to finish this one and that is going to be the end if we have enough resources but along that time we got a notification from some storm shelter explorers apparently there is the south trail of which our scouts have just arrived at so let's go ahead and see exactly what's going on and what this means for us. There can be no doubt, this trail has been left by people. What's more, we can see a thin column of smoke on the horizon. Okay, let's, uh, let us explore. Uh, smoke to the south. The smoke we saw doesn't necessarily mean there's a human settlement there. To investigate, we'd have to cross a vast ice plain and we wouldn't get back in time to join the evacuation. Unfortunately, the terrain is too rough for the dreadnought. If we fail to find help after evacuating our city, this may be our only chance of letting the world know about the fate of Winter Home. Okay. Uh, scouts will venture south and try and reach whomever we saw. Or we'll gather what resources we can find and head back. Okay, so realistically... Uh, 179 steel is good, but I think we need to go ahead and send them south. So let's go ahead and see if they can find anything. Okay, smoke to the south. We sent the scouts south. That's it. They're gone. I don't know what that means for us. I guess that's the very end. So there are some survivors out here in this storm shelter. I don't know if uh, we should try and recover them. That's a day and nine hours. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to send anyone after them. So I guess they're on their own or maybe who knows. If we can get notified, maybe we can somewhat survive? Yeah, I'm really not sure what the uh, possibility is because we don't have anywhere new to run off to. Just have to let them uh, do what they can. All right, well, hopefully it is enough. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that we've got our coal thumper up and running. That should be good. Uh, we're doing pretty good on coal. We have 17 hours left, but we do have a day and a bit to go. I think what we should probably end up doing is... Well, I guess we just go ahead and we... Use some of the uh, gathering... Uh, the uh, foreman abilities. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do just that. We'll go ahead and get this uh, coal thumper up and running. Um, a little bit over time and then oh we're only going to get a couple of hours of this too uh we'll go ahead and we'll spend our stuff on that and then we'll also go ahead and uh work over here hopefully that's enough that will cover a little bit extra uh the efficiency is fairly good so i think we will be able to keep up with whatever's there in fact you know we're gonna go ahead and uh do that for here here as well yeah we're just going to max out all of that it just is what it is uh, we have a couple of people who are being treated at the moment we should make sure that that is uh being looked after we have an infirmary up and running there we have another one here so that's 20 people and then we have an extra six okay and uh how are we doing we have 11 amputees we'll see if we can make prosthetics for everybody so they can get out of there uh in the next day but we will have no choice but to find out uh, should we... You know what? I do wonder whether we should do an emergency shift here. Discontent will rise, but actively we don't really have that much to worry about. You know what? Let's go ahead and get that done. And uh, see if we can make sure that everyone has prosthetics. So when this thing is uh, set to go, we can get everybody out of the city if our scouts do find something to the south. I have no idea if that's the right answer, but I hope it is the correct one. So it is what it is. Yeah, here we go. We've also got more children. They're getting their prosthetics. Yeah, I think they're probably the last people to be uh, receiving. Oh, no. 
we've got a few people. Okay, getting... Hmm. Treatment and all those other things. Okay, well... It is... Uh, yeah, we'll see how that all goes. Let's just quickly check our housing as well. Uh, we are set with 17 homes, but with an extra 22, that will bring us up to maximum. So, uh, yeah, we can't afford to destroy any others. Uh, we don't really need much of anything. We could go ahead and destroy this for a little bit of extra steel. Got a decent amount there. Uh, let's see. This arrives in two hours. Yeah, we'll get one more of, uh, one more, one more, uh, what do we call it? Evacuation before the very end of things. They should just arrive because I'm fairly certain at the end of the timer that's when these resources go to the Dreadnought officially. Yeah, so that's where we're up to. So hopefully we can get all of that done and anything uh, unnecessary we can just go ahead and uh, dismantle. So what do we need here? Advanced Steelworks, that's up and running. That's running 24-7. We've almost finished up with the foreman here. In fact, yeah, in a couple of hours we should be able to get everything sent. Yeah, we're going to try and time this out so we can get as much value as possible. In fact, we may even go ahead and... Uh, if we send some people instead... Hang on a second, let's just check our coal situation. Yeah, we're only losing 300 per day. We have more than we need. What we could do is send in some workers and engineers, do a 24-hour shift, and then dismantle the automaton for the extra coal. Oh, sorry, for the extra steel. Because they are worth 100 steel if you can uh, find them. Whereabouts is the guy? Uh, I don't know, the robot. Where are you, Mr. Robot? Ah, uh, there we are. Yeah, so if we do, do dismantle this, this will give us an extra 100 steel. Uh, if that's necessary, we'll go ahead and make sure that we do that. Just to make sure that we do not run out of uh, resources at the very, very end. But hopefully we should be fine. Alright, so got a couple of minutes left. There we are. Evacuation transport is set. Let's go ahead and send all that we can. This does take us a little bit short. But I'm fairly sure that's more than we need. So, uh, yeah, I want to send more people, but we just cannot afford it. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. All right. We're out of steel again. We are out of steel. Oh, well. Well, hopefully things go well. What we can do is uh, we can probably dismantle the care house after we have fixed up all of the uh, amputations. That should be good. Uh, we do have uh, extra food rations being given out. That is very good to see. Uh... You know what? We have a little bit of extra manpower at the moment. Let's go to health. We'll build a medical post. We'll throw that as close to the generator as possible so it at least stays warm and won't cost us too much extra. And we'll see if we can uh, heal up a few more a little bit better. Again, timber is a non-issue. Food is a non-issue as well. We have more rations than what we need. Uh, we have nine prostheses. Hmm. Why are people... I would have thought we had enough. I wonder how that... What is this? In a care house? Oh, we're going to get a prosthetic. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We already have ten of them. I think we can save the remainder. Although we've almost finished building that one. So you know what? I guess we'll finish building that just in case we lose any more limbs. We're not really worried by the extra gravely ill at this point, so I think we should be good. Yeah, there we are. Ten and eight. Assuming nothing tragic goes on between now and the end, we should have enough to make sure that everybody can at least flee before this gets destroyed. It's going to be close, but we're going to do what we can. Alright, let's kick up time a little bit. Let's make sure that we send in some people there. We're going to send them food, extra heat. That should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, everyone's being treated. That is very nice to see. Yeah, we are getting a little bit of illness, but nothing too severe. All right, what's going on? Hanging by a thread. The generator is failing. 
Sir, the engineers monitoring the generator have warned that its ultimate failure is imminent. The damage to its critical system is so widespread that we patch a pressure leak in one place to spring up elsewhere. There's nothing more we can do. Hope falls. Uh, okay. Could have been worse. Not by much, but it could have been worse. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a patrol. Again, food rations are not an issue for us at this stage of the game. We just need to make sure that everybody is uh, up and running. And we will spend a little bit of extra coal just to uh, keep this nice and warm. Again, we're trying not to have any... Uh, try not to have too much of an influx of illness right at the very, very end. That would not be ideal. And we'll make sure that that's up and running. In fact, uh, we can keep on making sure everything is sorted. Yeah, there's not much that can be done at this point. Oh, right. And uh, before I forget, uh, do we want to switch out for some workers instead? We would get better efficiency. We could do that as well. That would also give us the ability to emergency shift. Yeah, we need people. You know what? Yeah, it's time to break down the automaton. We're going to go ahead and uh, send in the workers. We're going to go ahead and turn the heater on foreman emergency shift everything that we possibly can and it's time to deconstruct this thing we need to have it down in 12 hours so we can produce what we can let's dismantle it and uh take what we can we'll send everything that we possibly could to the dreadnought give them the best chance of starting something new on the other side of this disaster yeah unfortunate but it's where we're at Okay, it looks like we have hmm, raising efficiency two per hour. That's not amazing right now. We need oh, we're up to forty-five. That's not bad either. Oh, there we are. We're at the hundred percent. Thirteen point eight per hour. Yeah, we're going to have to wait a second. Time left. Twenty hours. Oh no, we sent this too early. No, 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 no. I think I majorly stuffed up. We need to leave right about now if we were to make... I don't know what I did wrong. I know that I did something wrong, but I don't know what I did wrong. That's terrible. That would have... I think we could have made that final uh, drop-off. That's... that's... Have we just doomed our entire playthrough? Oh dear. We're going to wait till it's too late? Yeah, we basically are. We are going to give it to the uh, 11th hour. And if this doesn't make it, it just doesn't make it. I can't believe that we made such an error. Oh, things are getting cold again. Well, we only have 17 hours to survive. So... Yeah, we're dealing with all of the illness as best as we can. I am... Um, I don't know what we can do. We're doomed. Uh, we'll send in a couple of people there. Not that it makes a difference. We'll uh, call the evacuation right at the very, very end. Man, that is unfortunate. We could have... I feel like we could have salvaged this just a little bit better. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Fortunate. Um, hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and break down that building, I suppose. We don't need the factory anymore. Uh, we'll get that dismantled. Let's go ahead and uh, dismantle the... The gathering posts worth anything? A bit of steel. How many? We've got five hours left. Well, it ain't going to make too much of a difference right at the very end if uh, things are any worse. Maybe if we cut down a... A little bit cooler, but that'll probably uh, make it. And we can... Oh, we've now got excess coal. Um, hmm. Let's turn that back on. Let's go. Now what? The infirmary is no longer necessary, so uh, we'll recall you. And then... 
heat zone, insulation, all of that stuff. That's working well. Public house. You know what? That's not going to be up and running anymore. Uh, we can go ahead and dismantle you too. And then the factory that's getting brought down. You know what? That steam hub. I don't think you're really doing that much. Yeah, they're all freezing. We're not going to have enough. I don't think we're going to have much in the way of coal. Uh, hopefully our production can catch up. But again, I, I'm not expecting at this stage. Oh, and uh, no people for the care house. Let's bring that down as well. Yeah, we've only got 16 hours and we've only got yep, eight there. We somehow stuffed up on the timing. We could have done a few things better if we had been a bit smarter. But again, we didn't necessarily know. So uh, it just is the whole situation that we're stuck in. Uh, let's go... Do we just uh, cancel you? We'll turn off all of these. Yeah, that's just a uh, non-negotiable anymore. Like it's not, it's just... Wait a second. Yeah, it is technically doing something. Just not enough. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the building off. That's what. 500. We're doing about 33 per hour, so that's 66. Yeah, we have a good 10 hours worth of work there. Let's go ahead and turn this place off. Uh, same for over there. We'll try and not have too many sick right at this 11th hour. Uh, you guys, there ain't much we can do. There ain't much we can do. Well, this is the very, very end. Hopefully with uh, eight hours left, yet yeah, we can still get them to uh, arrive. But I think at this point we may even just shut down because we may as well just bail. We've got seven hours worth of coal at this rate. Um, yeah, you're still up and running. I guess we can go ahead and we'll just see if we can maintain some form of balance there. Uh, resource depot for steel that I that is unnecessary let's break you down you my friend are set to steel and you are to coal yep yeah, we are cooked this is it this is the end and what's this 109 bodies ouch we lost so many people we lost so many that is uh quite sad unfortunately we still see someone needs an a uh, prosthetic which apparently we've already built so not sure what's going on there. Yeah, man, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really gutted about that. I really thought we could have got that fourth level. I'm not sure what I missed. Maybe I accidentally started time and, uh, didn't realize. But, uh, whatever we did, we didn't quite get right within the, uh, margins of error. Which is certainly my bad. Alright, what have we got here? Dangers of losing a limb. Okay, uh, pros consider signing the care house or prosthetics? Um, we've already done both of those. Okay, you know what? We need to we need to uh, stop people from working in these environments now, where we don't have enough uh, extra prosthetics to make that work. Just leave as is. Uh, no available resources in range. Um. Well then, if that's the case, let's cut you down to level 1. Now uh, that does get that in range. This is out of range, but that's as uh, best as things can be. At least this saves us a little bit of extra coal. Yeah, we're just trying to squeeze out just enough at the very, very end. And yeah, here we are. We're losing 1,300 per day. We've got about 11 hours left, but uh, we've only got 11 hours left in games, so... It's going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. All right. We'll uh, quickly pause as soon as that, that is done. And we'll see if by some miracle they can catch up to the Dreadnought. Uh, maybe the game gives it to us. Maybe it doesn't. But I would really rather see if it is possible by any stretch of the imagination. So we'll run this through to the very final hour. Because we don't have much of a choice in this whole matter. Alright, so in a couple of minutes, they'll get the steel. Let's see what they do. Okay, 
Evacuation transport is done. Let's see what we need. For the next level, we need 380 odd. We can. Uh, 300, 400. There we go. That will be enough to finish that cabin. We're going to go ahead and send it off. We don't need any more at this point. So we'll send. And hopefully. Uh, that will finish an extra deck. But again, I do not know yet. 20 hours. That is a shame. So the question is, uh, we must launch the Dreadnought when we think the time is right. But this is unfortunate. We did send... We did send those survivors south. So... Uh, sorry, those scouts south. Maybe by some miracle they can uh, give us an 11th hour Deus Ex Machina and uh, allow us some kind of uh, survival. But I think... I think we don't have much left going for us, which is a bit of a pity, but it would have been nice. All right, let's, uh, we'll pause it right with uh, a couple of minutes to spare and then we'll hit the launch button. Unfortunately, I think we may have, uh, let things go just wrong, but either way, who knows, maybe sometime we will come back and uh, give this a rerun and see if we can do a slight bit better. All right, so as the uh, day is dimming, midnight on the end of, well uh sorry now in the early a.m of day 26 we're going to go ahead and call what there so with oop, so with a uh, quarter of an hour before the destruction we're going to tell everybody to try and run away we can't be here when this thing explodes uh evacuation dreadnought we need you to launch yeah Ever so close, but yet so far. We have to hit the button. Alright, good luck. The end of Winter Home. Once the expedition leaves, there is no going back. It will be the end of Winter Home. Are you sure you want to launch the Dreadnought? I feel like the answer should be yes. We don't have a choice. If uh, we don't launch it though... Hang on a second. I'm not 100% sure if we can run this through to the very end or not. Because that's not going to change that extra 400 steel, is it? No, I don't think so. You know what? Alright, here we go. Adios. And, uh, good luck. Ah, that is a shame. Not everyone got away. No. That is a pity. We were so close. All right. Well, either way, the fate of Winter Home, the survivors. When the orders came to leave, we gathered together. It seemed like half our people were missing and our thoughts went out to those who were left in Winter Home, waiting for the end. We felt both lucky and cursed. Though our hearts were heavy with the guilt of surviving at the expense of so many others, we rode the Dreadnought into the White Void, gathering what was left of our society and leaving our home behind. We did not look back. We knew the fate that awaited Winter Home. That's it. Oh. oh, that was a scenario. All right. The generator has failed. We had to flee. Even with limited space, we saved so many. What else could we do? Propaganda, people spying on each other, amputations. We enforced order. Many died in riots.
finally, we set out with plenty of supplies. Afraid we won't get far with so few engineers. We pray someone buries the city of Winterhome. Dreadnought Resolute, 400 citizens. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that was interesting. I wasn't sure if we would have um, had more negative consequences for not having that fourth uh, deck converted to cabins. Uh, but I guess maybe because we already had it on its way, we weren't penalized for it. Assuming that uh, when the last one arrived, they took that as the note. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, I know we certainly could have done better. Uh, but, you know, that is the situation of uh, going in blind to these scenarios, which is a bit of a pity. That being said, though, we still have, uh, what is this? Two more, two more scenarios to go. The last autumn and on the edge. Uh, we will come back with these and uh hopefully you will join me for that so be sure to hit that subscribe button it is the best way to catch all future content and i'll see you next time so until then thank you for tuning into the leviathan cove this is the leviathan signing out <laughs>